you, Mr. Speaker, have said that this Prime Minister is violating the rules of the House by refusing to hand over SDTC documents on a corporate welfare scandal of $400 million. Will the Prime Minister hand over the information to the police? And if not, what's he got to hide? Conservative leader just mentioned both the police and the Auditor General. Let me say what they have said. Both the RCMP and the Auditor General have raised concerns about how this motion jeopardizes their independence in serving Canadians. Parliament's been seized with this the last couple of weeks. The Speaker has determined that, you know, why don't you decide, why don't you describe it? Because the next clip is going to be your speech. Conservatives tabled a motion in the House requesting that all documents related to SDTC that the government of Canada have be turned over to the clerk, the law clerk mm-hmm. of the House of Commons, who would then to turn them over to the RCMP for criminal Completely redacted documents. Uh, uh, the, uh, un, totally no. unredacted. So what happened was when the Prime Minister's personal department, the Privy Council Office, sent out the order to fulfill that, they told departments to black out documents based on their view of the Privacy Act and the Access to Information Act. So all the documents came back, but they were all blacked out. They ran out of toner in the Prime Minister's (laughs) office. 